Citrus production is one of the lower Rio Grande Valley's best known and most profitable crops, which is why research on orchard irrigation practices is a key part of the Texas Project for Ag Water Efficiency, or Texas AWE. We believe it's a pretty awesome thing that we're promoting for the citrus industry and the growers in the valley. We're highly dependent on irrigation in the lower Rio Grande Valley for the types of crops that we have, and citrus is a crop that requires water year-round. In an average year, the valley gets around 24 inches of rainfall, so water pumped from the Rio Grande has to make up the balance of the 45 inches needed for a good yield. So we'll go through, for this year, 10, maybe 12 irrigations. Texas All Research has shown that by practicing a technique on laser-leveled land known as narrow border flooding, Farmers can save more than a third of the water used in traditional pan flood irrigation, which completely floods between rows and underneath trees. It irrigates everywhere, whether the tree roots are there or whether it's not. But in narrow border flood, we're trying to target irrigation where the roots are located. And most of those feeder roots of the tree are on the outside canopy of the tree or the drip line of the tree. And so if we can target our nutrients there, we can target our irrigation there, some of our fertilization practices there, it's just logical that where the roots are, the water takes it up. Not only are you using water more efficiently, you're also spending less money on water. We found that if you wanted to switch from pan flood, that border flood would be a method that you could save water where you wouldn't have to spend the money on a drip or a microjet system. Narrow border flooding on laser-leveled land is equally beneficial in other perennial fruit and nut crops. Still, some farmers are reluctant to change their irrigation practices. The method to be able to get growers to adopt change is always challenging. We needed to find something simple, something that they can adopt now without major changes to the way they irrigate. It's a simple solution, it's not difficult, that's kind of the beauty of this, this method here. Conversion from regular pan flood irrigation to narrow border is simply to knock your old borders down, put up a new border with a narrow border machine on every row of trees and you're done. Put your poly pipe on the end of the field, put however many holes in a line depending on the length of it. Producers like Jimmy Pollock are discovering that narrow border flood not only saves water and money, but produces better fruit. To me, water is the number one thing that gives you the size and quantity and quality. Yield is important, but quality of fruit is, is the most important because the larger, nice fruit is what consumers want to buy. Which means increased sales and higher profits for growers. Texas AW studies show that narrow border flood not only uses a third less water than traditional pan flood irrigation, but it can produce twice as much income per acre. Less water, more profits. So conservation is a key thing to be able to get the most water spread over the most number of acres of crops to turn a profit. They'll be able to see the economic dollar. Wow, I'm actually getting a bang for my buck by keeping my nutrients in place by keeping the fertilizers and the, the herbicides and the fungicides where I need it. It makes logical sense and in turn leads to a higher economic return. To learn more about the Texas Project for Ag Water Efficiency, visit texasawe.org.